So what do you think is going to happen? So well, we are I'm eating dinner, way, and I'm pushing it this way, <laughs> but we're not so conversing. However, F1 is we're not, not enjoying each other's <laughs> company. Well, we actually, can, we are well. because he is he's laughing at me. But mostly should go to the right. I'm drinking uh, wine. That should dominate this She's learning about vector addition. So we we're watching a, and we read we're watching a video about we're vector addition. Because, well, I can explain why. Because with sailboats... Okay, wait, you have to pause this dude. Okay. Oh, wait. I need to do it right. So... Sorry, me. Um, so, we're taking sailing course. And in the book, Mm -hmm. There's something called true wind and apparent wind. In the sailing book. In the sailing book. Well, it's and all right. So to describe what true wind is, is say you're stationary and the wind is blowing at you at 10 miles per hour. You're going to feel it a certain way, right? Now get on your bike, okay? And start riding into that 10 mile an hour wind at 10 miles an hour. You're going to feel much stronger wind. It's going to be 20 miles an hour, and your cheeks going to be your cheeks going to be going like that. <laughs> and your hair and your clothes. So, same thing happens with a sailboat. <clears throat> There's a wind that, um, a true wind that you'll feel on a boat or any stationary or when it's stationary anyway or anything that's stationary, and it has a certain direction. But when the boat starts to move then you feel something called the apparent wind, which is the wind, the true wind coming at you, but also the wind that you're going to experience because the boat's moving. So the apparent wind shifts in direction and velo well, velocity, direction. so direction and speed, or changes its velocity based on that. Anyway, so, and you can figure, so they, just in this book it showed some numbers, like this boat is going four knots. There's a true wind coming at 10 knots at 45 degrees off its beam, port beam, and it shows an apparent wind of 13 knots at 33 degrees. And I just wanted to verify. I was trying to figure out how to calculate and verify it because I wasn't sure. If, <laughs> I wanted to see if they were actually doing it right. <laughs> and I haven't done vector addition in a really long time, so I had to figure out how to do it again. So that's why I'm watching this guy. So, <laughs> anyway. So basically... <laughs> Sailing, he loves sailing because it is. Oh, it's physics, totally physics. Physics. Newton Newtonian physics, yeah. You t what? It's Newtonian physics. Newtonian. Or just physics, physics you, of everyday life. Physics of everyday life. Yeah, because a, a sail on a sailboat is, um, well, most people are probably familiar with flying. It's a wing, or essentially, a wing is like a sail. It operates in the same principles. So, yeah, it's cool. It's physics. Which we will learn in our sailing lessons. Tomorrow. Which we're starting tomorrow. We're starting to Look at my apartment. My condo is empty because... So is her bottle of wine. There's a teeny bit left. <laughs> That's empty too. <laughs> <laughs> to get through vector addition. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I am drinking wine. Every physics student needs <laughs> Every physics student needs a glass of wine. About 21. Well. <laughs> well, look, 21. I, yes. <laughs> I am selling my condo so we can afford the boat. <laughs> <laughs> we sell everything. All our clothes will be out there naked. You would like that. <laughs> yeah, I would. Naked boating? Naked boating? Yeah. Well, there's our video. <laughs> <laughs> Cover your eyes, I'm blind. <laughs> not from you, but from me. Yeah. Wait, you're going to be blind by looking at me naked? No, 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 the other way around. No, not you. God, no. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to be blind looking at me. Oh, they are. Mm -hmm. Got it, got it. I This confuses what you were saying. Mm -hmm. Anyway, yes, our first sailing lessons on a boat are tomorrow. So we are supposed to be studying today looking through this book, and I read a little bit earlier, up to about the page that he's on. Um, but reading that page didn't make me think of looking up Utonian, Utonian... Newton, U like, like Newton. New oh, Shryzik. Newton. Yes, yeah, Isaac Newton. I thought you said Utonian, like you, Newton. Newtonian. Newtonian physics, or classical physics. physics. Yeah. Classical physics. 
Reading that did not make me want to look up Newtonian physics. It made me just go, hmm, that's interesting. <laughs> But it made you, what? Oh yeah, I just was curious. Curious about? About whether they they had done their problems correctly. <laughs> <laughs> of course they did. It's a book. <laughs> they published a book. Yeah, but they could have just thrown in some lines and just added some you numbers. Think? I wanted to verify it. And see if... Did you verify it? I haven't yet. I just have to remember how to do it. That's why I'm watching this guy. Okay. Because there's some tricks. There's something he doesn't remember. Oh wait, there's tricks. Lots I don't remember. Yeah. <clears throat> I just have vague remembrance of things in the past and I don't remember how to do it. How to it's specific. probably good to forget your past. Mm. Some things in your past mm -hmm. are better forgotten. But never Newtonian and physics. We will, Always remember we don't your need vector to talk edition. About those things because they're forgotten. Always remember your vector edition. Never forget it because you never know when it's going to come up and you're going to need it. Like with sailing. Like with sailing. What else would it be useful with? <clears throat> Riding a bike. Okay. Again, there right. we go. Bye. Vector addition. We have the waves, the I mean the wind and the apparent mm -hmm. wind. Okay, what else? Um, pushing a box. <laughs> <laughs> Physics is all about boxes. <laughs> so pushing yes. energy. So, so Maybe I mean, would it be also like lifting up oh say lifting up my oh, dinner? Totally. Like lifting well, up a pot. Okay, so toxic all right. Oh, here he goes. So yeah, you know how everybody says when you lift a box, how do you say when you lift a box? You're supposed to bend in. Is you're placing your center of gravity, which is a vector, it over is. your body. Over your heels? Yeah, over your heels. You're placing your center of gravity over your heels. What which is that? Vector. Control. And where if you tip over, if you go like this, then you're way off balance. Your center of gravity is out here, and you don't have the ability to have to use your back. That's why they say don't do it, because it hurts your back, because it's putting a lot of pressure in your back, lifting up. Versus lifting here, you lift with your feet. So that's physics right there. It's everywhere, baby. Physics and chemistry, everywhere. Newtonian physics? Well, actually, you realize it's in self defense. No, I was going to say it's in self defense too, but anyway. Wait, where are you? I can't find you. Well, because like if you had. <laughs> I wish I had another person. Say you had someone grabbing you behind you. Behind you? Yes. And they. They can lift, you, they can lift you right up, right? They can lift you right up. Oh, yeah. If you get into a certain position, yes. just a little bit shift through over here, they shift their body with yours. So they're moving their center of gravity out away from their body. So you can, you can just shift a little bit, and they can't lift you because you've changed their center of gravity. You've manipulated their center of gravity. But anyway, it's just really cool. It's everywhere. So I like karate too. So physics is everywhere, so study your physics. Yep, bottom line. So why do they need to study your phys their physics? Because I've gotten through my whole life without having a physics class. Oh, when you said you took calculus. When you I took calculus, that's not physics. You never took physics? No. Really? Oh, then you missed the whole <laughs> beauty of calculus, because calculus was created to describe our physical the physical world. That's why calculus was created. It's just a, a, math, it's a, a math to describe <sighs> movement, I guess, or changes in things. I took calculus as a junior in calculus high school. Is boring if it's not applied to physics. I took calculus. Oh, like, like, here's my wine. <laughs> <laughs> I, I took calculus as a junior in high school. Mm -hmm. Because I'm just as smart as you. You're a lot smarter than me. But I stopped there. Mm -hmm. As a junior in high school, my mm -hmm. brain stopped. Mm -hmm. And I went into fashion. <laughs> well, your brain just shifted to the other side. <laughs> to the other side of, you mean. Mm -hmm. Yeah, left-handed versus right-handed. You were more creative. Creative. Mm -hmm. Yes, because I don't need physics. Mm -hmm. I don't need physics to learn it, to know how to... Uh, make a pattern. No, you don't have to. Wear high heels, look sexy, look cute. You know, um, pick out a cute outfit for somebody. Use physics in your fashion designing. You move scissors, that's physics. That's why you're able to cut something in physics. <laughs> I should probably sit next to you, or you should sit next to me, so we don't. Ha I don't have to keep turning. So you're not turning. dizzy. Well, this yes. Is, this is done by now, isn't it? Because I want to eat my food. You want to 
eat your food? Are you? I know I watch the video. Yeah, oh, <laughs> he's very excited about watching the vector. <laughs> the vector. So the funny thing about watching, I, I was watching the video with him, and I said he was listening to all the vector. <laughs> the, vector well, he, the, the vector speak. The vector well, speak. Well, the guy was doing a really good job. He was starting from a very basic where basics where nobody uh, for somebody who doesn't understand okay at all. So, so he did a really good job so he so we haven't gotten to the he good did, stuff okay really, well. so he was doing that mm -hmm. and what i noticed because i stopped listening at one point <laughs> i noticed that he had a button on the back of his shirt Ooh. and oh the guy. the guy oh yeah right. and i said oh that's he's wearing a button of shirt mm. with a button on the back which means he should have a tie on and you said no he's wearing a polo shirt which amazed me that you you noticed that, that. Right. you oh. noticed that he did That's have a polo shirt me. on what i was seeing i know what a henley is now too look at my hair is horrible why did you let me be on camera like this <laughs> he had a v on the back like a like like a logo V on the back, not a button. I mistook it for a button because the video was this big. It was a V for vector. Could be, yeah. Makes probably. sense. Could His be. business was probably called a vectorism. No, he, he, he had a little... Uh, Look at him noticing the clothes. Erlenmeyer flask on his... Erlenmeyer, who's that? It's a type of flask. <laughs> yeah. A flask, like a, like a liquor flask or like a flask to use in chemistry? Chemistry flask, yeah. I think it's called Erlenmeyer flask. Like a liquor flask. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't drink, so you know this from watching our videos. That he drinks sugar. I like sugar. He drinks sugar. I'm like elf. <laughs> he drink wine. <laughs> soup. What? Soup. Soup. Mm. Soup. 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 Okay, so you want me to shut this off so that you can then go back to your vectorism? Yeah. He wants. He wants to geek out tonight. Very well, we exciting get too, evening. Yeah, we can't get stuck on this too long because we Why need not? to study. We need to study the sailing lessons for the sailing classes tomorrow. Yep. I don't know how much we need to read of this hundred. I'm just scared. You and just want probably hundred and twenty-six page book. You probably just want to like maybe parts of the boat, uh, maybe some certain just terminology like the, the importance of the wind. Like I read the importance of the wind. Yeah, but you haven't, you haven't gotten into the vectors yet. Well, I don't... I read this page and did not say anything about vectors. <laughs> it doesn't talk about vectors. It does not talk about physics. It does not say, this is a physics lesson. Pay attention here. Oops. Physics is part of your everyday life. It doesn't say that. But it did say everything else you talked about, like the wind and the bike and the whatever. But it didn't say physics. Right. It didn't have to. Well, it would have had to for me to understand that that was actually physics. Because right. I didn't know it was physics. Right. Because you don't have the basis for that understanding because you never took the class. You never took physics. I never had to. Right. Yeah. So, so I didn't. Right. <laughs> I Since I took calculus in high school, I only had, you know, in college, I only had to take an algebra class to, like, to like, like, uh, what is it? To justify or whatever that word is, to meet my requirement for graduation. Mm. So I took an algebra class, even though I took chemistry, no calculus in high school. You're getting long. Mm -hmm. I didn't decide. I didn't want to take a calculus class in college, so I took an algebra class. Mm. Sure. Because I didn't want to work hard. <laughs> Okay, we have to study now. Or eat. We have to eat, drink some wine, and study. I'll drink the wine. So can tell. He'll study. Study. Okay. I have to study too. We're gonna look super cute in all our clothes tomorrow. <laughs> all right. Bye. <laughs>